Hello guys and welcome back. In this video we will be working on the animations for our handgun. So in most of the games you guys know that the main character doesn't only have one animator controller. The player has more than one animator controller. So we will be having more than one animator controller in this course as well. As I told you in the previous videos for just the player we will be having one animator controller then for the handgun we will have a different animator controller and then for the shotgun and the bazooka or rocket launcher and for the mini machine gun as well for now we will be focusing on our handgun and if you see right here in the resources folder we have a gun animator right here if we open this up this is our gun animator the only challenge now is that we will have to change the controller right here from player to gun animator controller in runtime okay if the player is holding the handgun or the player picks up the handgun then we will change this controller to gun animator okay from player from player controller to this gun gun animator controller we will be doing that at runtime not manually like this so you guys will be learning more new things if you follow me step by step so if we double click on our gun animator this is the shoot primary two guns animation okay and on the player we have the gun animator for now applied let's change this back to player controller okay because we don't have any animation for the handgun we just have simple animation for the player basic locomotions okay if we play this on the player controller the player will play the animations as you can see it plays the basic animations okay so now we want that if the player is holding the handguns we want to want to change this controller and also we want to disable this player script as well because for the handgun we will be having different walking and running speed and also different animator so for that if we open up the handgun script right here first of all we will add the movement code so we can get that code from our player script because on the player script we have all of the moving walking jumping code okay we are doing some reusable coding right here so let's open the script okay for now just close down this handgun 2 script because we don't need that now from the player script what we need we first of all need the player movement variable the player animator in gravity then also this player script camera then we need the player jumping and velocity as well so basically we need all of the variables first of all so follow me step by step the first step is to copy all of these variables from the player script get back to handgun and right here at the top make some space so that you don't get confused and paste all of the variables in this you can add a comment if you want so this variables are for the rifle shooting so we can say rifle shooting variables and then these are for the movement so you can just copy that and right here you can say rifle movement variables okay you can do that if you want for better understanding so now we have the variables right here after the variables let's get back right here and in the update function let's copy all of this code from the update get back to handgun now we can scroll down to the handgun update function okay here it is and right here in the update function at the top okay right here we will paste all of that code right here okay after this we need all of these functions so the first one 
is the player move so let's copy the player move from the player script get back to handgun now and after this update okay and above this shoot function paste it okay make sure that the player move is the first function after the player move we need the jump so let's copy the jump and after the player move now and above the shoot let's paste it after the jump we need the sprint so we can just simply copy this from there and paste it right here that is it so now we have all of the functions variables everything set up and guys follow me step by step you can just rewind this video if you didn't get it we first of all took all of the variables from here then we take all of the functions and also this update function code and then the other functions okay and we paste it right here one by one okay player move jump and right here we have the sprint and then uh, down below we have the shooting variables but leave that as it is because the shooting is already completed so now we have added all of the code right here now we can end this video right here and in the next video we will join all of this code and then we will have a different walking for the handguns so let's end this right here.